His swimming technique was exceptional. He was just, he was taught well. He's a beautiful swimmer. Todd Peters was a standout athlete at Greenwich High School and had his eyes set on swimming at the collegiate level. At first, the Riverside, Connecticut native wasn't sure which school would fit, but a chance visit by hometown legend and Gettysburg assistant coach Cammy Raleigh helped sway his decision. Todd, Todd was an amazing athlete. In high school, he was, a, he was an All-American water polo player. I think he was an All-American golfer. In fact, he was at male athlete of the year at Greenwich High School, which is quite an accomplishment. I mean, some others were like Steve Young. Uh, and Cammy went to the same high school, and um, he was an exceptional athlete. But I think he could have gone and played water polo, Division I. But I think this, is the, this was the type of environment he was looking for. And I think it did help that, that Cammy came from the same hometown, and it worked out nicely, but Todd was Cammy's boy. When Peters came to Gettysburg, the men's team was quickly turning into a powerhouse program and was coming off five consecutive conference championships. Competing alongside the likes of All-American Matt McKenna and conference champs Joe Carver and Hugo Stevsik, Peters rose to the challenge and quickly emerged as a dominant force. In his freshman season of 1994-95, he claimed five conference titles, including the 50-yard freestyle and the 100-yard freestyle in conference record time. Peters finished just behind teammate Joe Carver for outstanding performer of the meet, and Gettysburg rolled to the team championship. In sports, and especially in swimming, you need to have people at your level and competitive day in, day out in practice. You just can't wait until you're swimming another team. And they all pushed each other, and they all encouraged each other, and they, you know, they got on each other. They held each other accountable. He was lucky in that not only in his class, uh, when he was a freshman, and we had a lot of fine men's swimmers like Joey Carver and Hugo Stefsik and Matt McKenna, and, and then Richie Carroll came along. I mean, there was always competition every day in the pool. Um, so it was a lot of fun to watch. And, and that's how you, that's really, it's one of the key components in this sport to getting better. It's, it's who you train with every day. Peters claimed all conference accolades in 11 events over the next two seasons and was named a team captain alongside classmate Peter Casares for his senior campaign. After going unbeaten in dual competition, Gettysburg ran away with the conference title and Peters was the headliner at the championship event as he swept the 50, 100, and 200 yard freestyle races. He was named the outstanding performer of the meet and was headed to the NCAA Division III championships alongside Casares, junior Rich Carroll, and freshman David Levine. The quartet picked up All-America honors in three relay events, which placed the team 12th in the country overall, its highest finish ever. Certainly his senior year, his conference made it the senior year where he won all three of his individual events and the relays he was on were very successful and went on to NCAs and were very successful there. That's probably his most memorable year, but he, he was good from the get-go. He was uh, his freshman year, he won a couple events at the conference meet and uh, he, he was on a very good team all four years and helped add to its success. Peters graduated from Gettysburg with degrees in anthropology and sociology. After two years as a head coach at Washington and Lee University, he went into the business world in New York City and has been there for nearly two decades. Inspired by the creativity of a liberal arts education, Peters recently started his own business, Tap Innovation Media. He's maintained strong relationships with many of his former teammates and, of course, his former coaches at Gettysburg College. He and his wife, Jody, have two children, Tucker and Grayson, and reside in Westport, Connecticut. Todd Peters deserves to be in the Hall of Honor because he was one of the finest swimmers we've ever had. He was very accomplished. Uh, I mean, his, his, his statistics speak for himself. Uh, and he represented the college very well. You know, he loved Gettysburg College. He really did, and he still does. Um, he's very fond of his alma mater, and he's been involved. And uh, he just, uh, he, he was a great kid. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome up Todd Peters. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank, well, first of all, I'd like to congratulate the ladies, um, Bullets, my daughter, Grayson, wave your hand, is a lacrosse player, and I coach her, and it's, it actually brought tears to my eyes watching the ladies come up on stage. Um, thank you for being an inspiration for me and for my daughter. It also reminded me of... Um, of my athletic career at Gettysburg. Um, as I, you know, my fellow inductee mentioned, you forget about things, but when you see um, athletes come up on stage, you remember them very quickly, so thank you for that. Um, so, uh, first off, I'm the, I'm the one sport athlete here. Um, <laughs> Geez, you know, I thought I was an athlete, but I saw everybody on the, the ballot, and geez, congratulations to everybody for that. Um, <laughs> first off, I'd like to thank uh, President Riggs and her entire staff. Um, also, thanks so much to Coach Wright um, and the amazing Gettysburg Athletic Orange and Blue staffs. Also, to my family, that includes my two amazing children, as I mentioned, Grayson, but also Tucker as well. And to my lovely, lovely, beautiful wife, Jody. Um, thank you also to my teammates who are attending tonight, Peter Casares, Joe Carver, Hugo, Greg, the McDuff, uh, Megan is here as well, Kelly, and... Sorry if I forget anybody, but thank you. Really cool to see everybody, and I'm sure we'll see everyone later tonight. Um, our friendships, um, as we've had many here at Gettysburg College, um, to be uh, an athlete and be a teammate, um, that bond is extremely special. So uh, you know what I'm talking about, and uh, thank you for attending. Uh, thank you to my both in-laws as well. I love you guys for attending. Love you, love you. Um, and thank you to my mother, who could not be here tonight. She's in Florida uh, cleaning up after Hurricane Irma. Um, I was uh, recently asked to give a TED Talk uh, during a company summit prior to launching my own business. Um, this TED Talk was about leadership and my story around leadership. I really didn't have to think too much about my story and what I was going to talk about in front of 250 random you know, company people um, because I was taught and led by great coaches in my athletic career. Uh, my story is about a young man, and that's me, uh, who lost his way pretty quickly his first semester and needed some help steering the course. Um, I barely made it through my first semester here at Gettysburg College. Uh, my grade point average, um, kids, hold your ears, uh, was a 1.4, and my roommate was on double secret probation. Um, <laughs> so, and he'll be here tomorrow night. That, that kind of like, yeah, he's just a day late, but anyways. <laughs> um, at the same time, at the same time, I had already broken a conference record, as Mike was talking about, and my success in the pool continued, and that was something I could manage. Um, but also, um, I lost my father as a young child, and he had left money for me for college, and I could not imagine not, you know, finishing college. And so, 
both Mike and Cammie stepped in very quickly and provided guidance on how to get through this. Also, I will say that the college leadership at the time was amazing, um, that they still are too, but they came in and helped me um, provide a, a path for getting back on track. And so what I quickly learned and what I learned now is that what gave me success in the water um, didn't so much give me success in the classroom um, in life thereafter college, but of course working hard and showing up on time and, and you know, um, being, um, you know, listening, all those things that help me in the water um, are great ingredients, but I quickly learned that every challenge is different. And I had to pivot uh, my focus um, in order to be successful. And I learned that very quickly. Um, and it's helped me in my, in my career. So what did I learn from all this? Um, I learned that I will fail and that I will continue to fail. Um, and it's probably why from this experience that I've, as the video said, launched my own company, um, but I've also launched another company as well about four years ago. And I'll continue to fail at those two companies, um, but I know that I will get closer to success um, you know, every week, every month, every year. Um, and by the way, if anybody is interested in investing, you know, <laughs> come talk to me. We're good. Gettysburg all the way. Um, <laughs> Mike and Cammie, uh, they treated me like an adult, as did the college. And nobody studied for me at the end of the day, and I had to prove um, myself to those who supported me. And I did get back on my feet, and I graduated with a strong academic tenure in all four years. Um, but more importantly, um, in this situation, they taught me that leadership is about trust, being empathetic, um, being empathetic to a situation, but also empowerment, passion, courage, all the great stuff. So thank you to those in the room uh, who supported me. Thank you to those who are not here um, right now, uh, but that supported me back then. Um, and first and foremost, Thank you to Mike and Cammie for supporting me, um, trusting me, and doing the right thing. Thank you.